So, I just completed Insanity Max 30 Day 7, and I maxed out at 14 minutes and 30 seconds, which I have to tell you, I'm so proud of myself for. Um, usually, or the past, I think, three times we've done this video, I think maybe two times we've done this video, I have maxed out on the plyo push-ups because let me tell you, those things are tough. It's basically doing a push-up and then hopping up and doing another push-up and um, it's hard after you've done two or three sets of them. And so today I maxed out at 14.30 doing the power jumps, the slow power jumps. So actually I'm impressed with myself because Power jumps fast are like the worst move for me. They are the worst, absolute worst. So usually if I if I cross that, um, I kind of max out there. But I pushed past the fast ones and maxed out as I started the slow ones. So um, that is an improvement. The last time I did this disc, I maxed out at 10 minutes and 8 seconds. So definitely an improvement. I will say this. I wish that whatever I had inside me today. I wish I could channel that into every workout every day because you know yesterday's workout I was talking about how it was so tough and I was so tired and I was worn out and my mind wasn't in it, my body wasn't in it and today was like the complete opposite like night and day black and white complete opposites. Today I had no trouble pushing through the things that were causing me pain that were making me want to quit and I didn't even think once about stopping the disc and quitting. Um, I think that might have something to do also, I've told you guys the Tabata power, the Tabata workouts are a little easier for me just because like I've said in the past, I can push past burning in a muscle. Like if my muscle burns, it's kind of, it's almost like I feel the change happening I think so it's easier for me to push past it. Um, but when it comes to cardio, it's not even the breathing that gets me, it's just with cardio, I reach, and Tabata Power does have cardio, don't get me wrong, it's a lot of cardio, but it's nothing like cardio challenge. And when I do things like cardio challenge, I get to the point where I feel so sick, I feel like I can't even move. Like I feel, this stems from the stomach problems I have. Like growing up, I always felt like I needed to be sick, like I needed to throw up. Sorry if that's TMI, but I always felt like that, but I never could throw up. Um, and that's how I feel when I do cardio workouts. I feel so sick and like I would feel so much better if I could just kind of relieve myself a little bit but nothing will come out so I spend the time just gagging which makes me even more sick so yeah um basically I've improved I did start thinking today because it was a little easier um I started thinking how month two is going to be torture like how can it get any harder than this and that's kind of what I thought about with insanity too I was like this is so hard how can month two get harder and in insanity month two got harder because you went 20 minutes longer and 20 minutes extra of insanity that's like running you know five extra miles in a five mile run so um, month two here I'm not gonna think about it I'm not gonna freak myself out I was a little bit sick today just because um, I didn't get to the store to get eggs, which is my typical breakfast, so I did start out with my Shakeology, which normally I have after my workout. So I did have a little bit of kind of slosh, like sloshing around in my stomach. Um, but insanity, I swear by it, guys, I drink it every single day. Most days I drink it twice a day. My husband drinks it, my children drink it. I've talked about it multiple times on this channel and my Facebook page. I would highly recommend it for a program like this because whatever you can do to kind of replenish your body, I would suggest. There's also e, &E which I drink, I'm not drinking right now, but um, e, e is an energy and endurance drink that helps you get through the workouts and then there's also a rest and recovery drink which I swear by more than the energy drink because the rest and recovery drink helps your muscles to repair faster so you're not as sore the following day. Um, that's another thing too, I haven't, I've been sore, I've definitely been sore, I, but the thing is I feel the soreness more in places that don't typically get used, like here between, you know, my chest and my arms and, um, you know, in my, basically in my joints I feel the most sore. Today I did, during the, uh, tricep dips, um, the slow ones, my back started to ache, doesn't necessarily mean your back is going to ache. Uh, up until about four months ago, I was going to the chiropractor two times a month for my back and my neck, so that's definitely something with my body. So 
It won't necessarily happen with you. I'm debating whether I should do one week progress photos because I definitely already see a difference. This hasn't really left yet and if you are following me on Facebook you see a lot of those videos where I kind of show you what's going on here. But um, but like I was taking a photo of today's workout and I saw my triceps which is a big deal because I don't have triceps. <laughs> like they never show. I never do enough to work them. So I'm really excited. Today was just a good day. Today was a really good day. I felt good. I was excited again. I saw changes. I pushed. So I felt really good about today. And um, yeah, that's day, what I say, day seven. So until tomorrow, I'll see you. Oh, tomorrow's the last workout of the week. Hallelujah, because again, it is five days a week. Not seven, which I hate because I don't ever work out on the weekends. That is time for me to completely disconnect and be with my family and do stuff that I enjoy as opposed to things that feel kind of like work. Um, so I love that it is only five days a week. I push as hard as I can for five days and then I get two days of rest. So that's fantastic. But I'll see you guys tomorrow for day eight. Hope you are doing well and I will see you later. Bye.